This is a 1950s 98cc two-stroke racing lawnmower. You heard me right. 98cc two-stroke. Not sure how accurate the racing part is, but anyway, this is one of them lazy guy style ones that drags itself around the yard, which is perfect for me. <laughs> it's Ransom's a 20 inch antelope cylinder cutter. It's keen to see it going. I think it's a real, real vintage. This thing hasn't run in the last 40 odd years. I'm talking rubbish. I've got no idea. One of my mates just dropped it off. Uh, thanks for that, Ray. Looking forward to working on it. He dropped it off, said, well, let's see if we can get this thing running, cutting, and whether it's worth restoring. So that is what we're going to do today. Welcome back to the Bird and Builds garage. Let's get started. Having a quick look at our little mower here. It is Ransom's Made in England mower. Looks like it's made pretty well though. I believe these were somewhat popular back in the day, although I'm not too sure. I wasn't around in the 1950s. Um, carburetor still looks like it's in really good condition. Obviously it doesn't have an air filter. We'll have to try, kind of jerry-rig something up there. The exhaust is still here, luckily. I think it's a bit loose, um, but we can make a plan there. I don't know about this though. Spark plug, I'm sure we could just tape that back on. That'll be fine coming around it's got a pull start one not an auto retract pull start but I think you hook the I don't know kind of cable or you hook a rope in here you wind it around pull it and I'm pretty sure it'll work it feels a little bit locked up no, there's a little bit of movement there I'm not going to turn it over I still want to put some mooty there down the down the cylinder tank actually feels really solid not hey, that was quite loose oh shit so not too sure if you can see down there but from what I can see, it is rusted to shit. Anyway, we'll see if we can get that all cleaned up. Coming around the back here, oi, loosey goosey. Check it out, a uh, bit of a loose banjo fitting. I think that goes underneath the fuel tank, feeds the back of the carb. And what else do we have? Got some rollers, got the drum cutter. This is the lower blade. I think, yep, yeah, this lower blade is loose. Probably all needs to be sharpened. And up at the top, We've got our little go handle. Hmm. Also looks like it needs a bit of work, but anyway, we'll get there. This thing, I'm pretty sure this is missing a long shaft or a long rod that goes down to the bottom. Um, the reason I say that is because there's a little tensioner pulley down here, a little drive belt. This is the output of the motor. It goes through a drive belt into this half shaft. And I'm pretty sure that's a tensioner pulley. From the half shaft, looks like it goes through this chain. There's also a type of tensioner there, not too sure how that's going to work. Anyway, chain drive onto the, the drum cutter and onto the wheels. Oi, little grease nipple there. Cool. I think let's get this thing into the garage and see if we can get it started.
You guys think I was joking when I was saying I was going to tape this on. <laughs> I'm not even going to tape it on. I'm just going to push the wire onto the spark plug and I bet you this will be good enough. Or at least good enough for now. Cool, we are pretty much ready to give it a start. Uh, cleaned out the carb, just uh, sprayed it out with a bit of carb cleaner, new bolt here. Took the, uh, what do you call this thing, accelerator cable, I suppose. I took that off uh, because it's seized up, so I need to replace that at some stage. Uh, just using a piece of wire as a throttle, basically. And then, as you saw earlier, we've got a funnel. I'm gonna chuck some fuel in there. I might as well do that right now, actually. And we do have spark, I did check that. I didn't check properly, I didn't check any timing or anything, so I guess it'll be all right if we just pretend it'll be all right. Let's just pop some fuel in here. I mean, we only basically need a bowl full. Yeah, that'll be fine. Let's put that on there. It's not a fire hazard. If it is, just uh, look the other way. Cool, got my drill. We're not gonna use the pull start because I'm lazy, so we're gonna try this thing. And, um, well, let's see if it works. Oh, by the way, block your ears. That might be a bit loud. Oh, yeah. Okay, that was uh, quite scary. Doesn't want to idle. Let's try that again. Ah, damn it. <laughs> yep, fire hazard 101. <laughs> Safety third. So how awesome is that? This thing actually does run, although not very well, as you could see, I uh, had to keep it at full throttle in order to basically just keep it running. Now, I don't think that is right. It should, well, I don't see an idle screw on here, but it should at least be able to idle. Um, that's not the case. And I think it's because it's very low on compression. If I turn the flywheel over uh, and the spark plug is in here, it turns over really, really easily. So that's probably why it's not running too well. Um, that said, I don't think we're going to be able to test to see if it cuts because two reasons. The belt is too short, so we can't actually disengage the motor. And because this thing is so low on power, we have to disengage the motor in order for it to start. So uh, I would have to get a bigger belt. Not sure how, how much these things cost. Obviously, that takes a bit of time driving down to the shops, looking, trying to source these things. Um, so I'll have to go and uh, chat to old Ray there, see if he wants to bankroll this thing any further. Um, I'll have to also try and find out if you can get rings and pistons for it, or, or rings and a piston, should I say, and then uh, see if we're gonna work on it anymore. So if you guys know any more about these uh, cool old vintage lawn mowers, let us know in the comments. It's always nice to hear from you. If you ended up liking the video or found it entertaining at least, give it a thumbs up. It really does help getting the video shared as much as possible, and it also helps me on the channel. Maybe there's gonna be another video or two on this. We'll see if we can get parts. Otherwise, if not, then we do still have some videos on the vintage Victor 1042 lawn tractor coming up and there was that new little project that I introduced, I don't know, two or three or maybe four videos ago. You guys are going to see that very soon, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching and my name is Grant Burton. This is the Burton Builds Garage and you guys will see me in the next video. Cheers.